we all need to work to keep the antimicrobials that we use on the farm working. We have a number of uh, antimicrobials, antibiotics that are used in, in the beef operations. Some of these are even used in human medicine. So we need to be real careful and try to use these uh, according to label and be sure that uh, we get the maximum benefit out of them and that they will continue to uh, uh, help treat whatever problems that we may have. Uh, we can reduce the possibility of antimicrobial resistance by following just a few guidelines. First off, if we will just practice good animal husbandry practices and keep up uh, with all the vaccinations. If we keep an animal healthy, it's not going to be necessary for any type of uh, treatment. Uh, we need to use laboratory results if we have an animal that gets sick. This way we can pick out the very best antibiotic that possible to treat an animal. Uh, this just helps out an awful lot. We always need to follow label instructions on any antibiotics that we're using so that we are utilizing the proper dosage, we're giving the medication uh, in the right location, and, and other things that relate to the maximum effectiveness of that particular product. All of the uh, treatments that we do and use should be, uh, should reflect best use practices, you know, uh, we do it for the right length of time, for the right reason, and so forth. Uh, if we've got two or three animals that are sick out there on the farm, we don't need to go out and treat everything unless we feel like there's a real risk of everything else getting sick. Uh, so again, just uh, treating those sick animals is going to be a real critical thing. I already mentioned this, but we need to treat uh, the animals according to product label for the recommended time and we also need to keep a record of what antibiotic we used and, and all the other details regarding that, just like the things that we talk about in the, the Beef Quality Assurance Program. We need to try to stay away from these broad spectrum antibiotics as much as possible. That's where the lab results help out in determining what is going to be the very best thing, very specific, to treat that animal. Uh, we basically don't need to be doing anything extra label with any of these antimicrobials. If it is necessary, this needs to be and must be done under the uh, watch of your local veterinarian. So again, work with that local vet so that you can come out with the very best uh, possible treatment scenario. Uh, we always want to be sure that uh, we're treating for the uh, appropriate length of time also. Uh, sometimes we get into a situation with animals just like we do if we catch a cold. If we go to the doctor, get antibiotics, we get the feeling better in seven days, uh, we don't take that last three days of antibiotics. Same situation can occur with our beef animals. So we need to be sure, follow those directions, and it says that that animal needs to be treated for 10 days, we need to treat for 10 days. Uh, again, I don't think we can overemphasize the need for working with your local vet to come up with the very best uh, treatment regime that we've got and uh, he or she has a, a, a better feel for these products and know which ones that, that we can use without developing microbial resistance or antimicrobial resistance. Uh, again, any product that we're using, we always need to be sure and uh, observe the withdrawal times that are given. If you'd like additional information on trying to keep our antimicrobials working there on the farm, contact your local extension agent.